what lovely people. I mean, this is not the market. This is a shop on the main road. And he's just let me try some of that um, three and a half year old ham. It's so delicious. So this gentleman in here is letting me try this beautiful ham. And he's explained to me um, the difference, the aging. How many, how many years? Smell that. Fresh. Great flavor. Great flavor. I would never have expected to see this quality of ham production here in Kunming. I just just never expected it. The guy here is prepping it up, he's trimming it all clean. Oh, how do you feel? Is it any different from some of your Australian hams? Smell. Fresh. What the gentleman's saying to me there is the one here is a three and a half year, so it's it's the flavors have intensified, the meat is a bit drier. If you see on the two year ham, it's a, it's softer. Okay, and eventually after three years, maybe even three and a half years, the meat becomes more dense like this, so it shrinks. More of the moisture comes out of the meat, the flavor gets more intense. It's beautiful. The ham gets the better it tastes, but as it ages, it becomes very firm. Just uh, brings back memories. And then I showed him a video of me making some cured hams myself. We used to make a lot of them when we had our own little farm. So uh, I understand the, the process of making these. So then, you know, it's he's looking at the video and I'm looking at the guy cutting it up. It's really nice. Nice to meet people with the same passion in uh, making. Um, charcuterie or cured meats. So I've come out early and uh, stumbled across this market. Take a look. Let's have a look around. I've got peanuts. Mm. I'm not going to speak much. Just, just have a look. Have a look with me. Just discovering as we go. I've Now look at the potato varieties. Well, that's got the, the tail on it. Hello. Meat section. No, I think it's closing up actually because it's probably about seven in the morning. Maybe a little later, I've been up a while, I've had a coffee, so. Bananas are five RMB per kilo. It's about uh, 70 cents US a kilo for bananas. 
lovely little pineapples, little tiny baby pineapples. Go on, let's go in here. Oh look, the ladies roasting peppers. Hello. Roasting peppers. And this is cured meat. This is like um, prosciutto hams or uh, parma hams. Wow, this guy. Look at all these beautiful hams. Man, this is almost like a... It's almost very similar to a prosciutto. Chickens. Look at the, the flesh in this one. Limes, chilies, different varieties of chilies. All different eggs. The size of these duck eggs, maybe. Or perhaps goose eggs. They're big eggs. What's going on here? Something steaming. Morning. And they're trimming up the, the hams. Look at the ham back in here. Something I didn't expect to see here in China was the equivalent of your sort of Parma hams. Something that, that I've made for years myself. So it's nice to see them producing cured, cured porks. The size of these sacks of chilies. All different kelps and seaweeds. And squid. Excuse me, thank you. Ooh. More, more hams. Look, they've got the, the pig hawk. Wow. Hello. All the different yams and potatoes. Sweet potatoes, garlics, gingers. Oh man. Look at the tofu making lady here. She's got all sorts of different types of tofu. See it boiling away on the fan. Hello. Fresh, fresh made tofu. Fresh made tofu. These are like sort of a burdock of some sort, I'm not sure. And there's another lady with more tofu here. This looks like a, like almost a smoked tofu. But she's making it in the back as well. I said I wouldn't speak, but I, I'm not speechless. There's fish here. Guy's got fish. 
Wait. Okay, we've popped out the end. I don't know where we are. Don't know where we are. The lady's with me. Can't can't get through. No way out that way. No way out that way. I'm gonna follow her suit. Hello. Wow. So we've we've snuck out. Look. Roast duck. Another lady's cleaning up. Another lady's doing all the shrimp. Little fish. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Frogs, huh? Oh, the big, big frogs. <laughs> big frogs. Little frogs. <laughs> Lots of people coughing up phlegm. Okay. These are the, the entrails for sausage making. Oh, this is the meat section, guys. Could get a bit gnarly if, you, if, you're, if you've got a weak stomach. Could get a bit gnarly in here. Hello. The size of those, uh, those hoofs. Wow. Oh. The pork, pork section. Floor's a little bit, a little bit greasy, I have to say. But look at all this belly pork. Hundreds of uh, hundreds of trotters. Those are pigs trotters. Brains here. The brains. Look all the intestines. Ears. Pigs ears. Beautiful great big leg of pork there. Look at that. Oh, I'm glad I came out for a walk this morning. I love these markets. You can imagine though they're starting to wrap this up this in the in the warmth of the day. It's not so hot, but in the warmth of the day. Um, more of these beautiful hams. It won't be such a great place uh, to have all this meat out. Guys doing a whole half of a pig here, whole section. Yeah. Hello. Uh, we used to. Uh, I used to do this on my own little farm. I used to do this. Half the pigs, bristle gone, chicken, beautiful chicken. Oh, this is uh, duck, goose. I'm not getting any trouble filming at the moment. There's a lot of nice around. But everyone's everyone's sweet. Now this guy must be specialising in his own own type of curing because he's packaged, he's vacuum packaged everything up. The, the hams. The pigs on the back there are a bit like saddlebacks, a bit like Gloucesters. Some wild pigs. There'll be varieties of pigs that we we don't know, although they. They look similar to our pigs. 
but the older varieties. So the flavours of the pork here will be so much more complex than the flavours of the pork we have generally in the West, which all come from the long white pig. It's now the domestic pig that everybody basically has to have if you, if you shop in a supermarket. Here you've got all the different varieties of pigs, so all the old varieties, lots of fat, lots of flavour. I suspect it's the same with the cattle, and you've already seen all the different sorts of chicken and uh, fowl that's here. It's amazing. And beef, this guy's doing all the beef. Yeah. So am I in the beef section? Look. For those of you who don't like the meat, let's get out of here and go dodge through here quickly. I think this is uh, more vegetables. And immediately the air changes. It's fresher, it's a little greener out here. Still got some fish. There's a little bakery over here, look. Little baked goods. Oh, all little, uh, you know, all little sweet pastries. They're like a tender, fl flaky pastry, often filled with red beans or sometimes with meats, but generally with a red bean or some sort of soya. Um, sweet herbs, spices, should I say, inside. You know, I think I'm going to get lost. I'm not sure where I am now. It's a little market trader laying out her wares. Probably come in from a probably come in from a small farm somewhere, selling her own wares. And the bigger stalls over here with the fruit. Look at those melons. Okay. I don't know what's down here. Lots of these little small traders that have come with their, their vegetables. Hello. No. Okay. Guys, bring in the, the ice. The ice man cometh. Came out to get some breakfast. This is the sort of thing you'd have for breakfast here in China. Some noodles. I popped out the other side. Can any of you remember where I am? Because I can't. What a great market. I'm gonna go through again. If you wanna go through again, you'll just have to watch the video back. This is my second day, less than, less than second day really, day and a half we've been here in China. I found the local market already. I'm loving it. It's amazing. Like I say, the market itself is starting to close up. People are starting to cover things over. It's early in the morning. By the time the sun comes up, this will all be gone. And I suspect something else will be here. Look at this lady, she's making some, some breads, some little flat breads. Hello. Hello. I don't know what they are. When I haven't got you with me, I'll, um, I'll come and try some of this stuff. That's not very fair, is it? Look at the peaches. Look, these big apples, beautiful peaches. Oh, you can smell those peaches. Michelle and I were gonna love those. They seem to be about 18 RMB, possibly a kilo. I'm not sure if they use kilos here. 18 per whatever they're selling them at. I don't think China's metric. Or maybe it is. I'm not sure. Comment. Let, let everyone know down below. We metric 18 per what?
Now I said people were packing up, but I think these stores are opening up. So pomegranates, look at the pomegranates. And this here, everybody in, uh, sorry, everybody in China is paying with electronic cash. Very few people use cash. They pay with their phones, even on these markets. You still can pay with your WeChat or your Ali Money, I think they call it. This guy here is making all the big, uh, like omelets. And always in the in the background, the hard workers. Tidying up. Now the ground is messy with vegetables sort of slurry on the floor. But I'm telling you, China's a lot cleaner than than I expected on the streets, and they clean this up. I suspect you'll come through here in an hour's time, everything will be cleaned up. You've got to pick your way through here. Look at these steamed little rice buns back into chickens. Look at the size of these things. Little doggy. And no, he's a pet. Look at the carrots. Okay, take a look at the variety. There's two carrots here. I can see the, uh, your standard traditional um, carrot, and then this this ready coloured carrot here. Show in a little bit. Let's see? Can I have a look? You know, they always said that carrots originally, the original carrots were red color, and that's what they mean. It's a, it's a sort of ruddy sort of color, and you can see the traditional cultivated carrots next to it that we're used to seeing. Remind me, I'll get some of those, we'll try them. Here's the guy, got all the greenery. It's a lady with a backpack on and a, a shopping, a daily shopping. <sighs> now all that greenery will get recycled. I'm sure that's gonna go somewhere, go back into uh, the ground cultivate and regrow this beautiful vegetables. I pause there on the um, potatoes because seeing really good varieties of potatoes here is such a pleasure so many places in the world now you just get one or two varieties of potatoes old um, heirloom type potatoes are just commonplace here and different sweet potatoes these yams here we've got the white ones the orange or red ones everything's it's all new to me well not all new to me but some of it looks familiar some of it looks completely new this guy's roasting aubergines on a on a on coals i was going to sign off wasn't i taking you back in 
Okay. I think we're back where we started. What amazing. A little impromptu wander around a wet market. More potatoes. Look at all the different potatoes here. We've got there's one, two, three, four different varieties of potatoes. Hello. And then even even the, the little sweet. These would be like Ya Yang. Ah. They're a little like a little sweet potato. I want to stop filming, but I keep seeing stuff and I hope you don't mind. And I hope it's not all sort of wobbling around too much. Because I just literally had the camera in my pocket. I thought, okay, this is fascinating. I'm hungry now. I've got to go and find myself some breakfast. See if I can find somewhere to get a coffee in amongst all this. Oh, noisy. Get the chat going down below. Let me know what you think. Share the love. Share this video. And um, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you on this nice picture of all these beautiful green vegetables. And these guys prepping them up. I a dead shit. Okay. <laughs> so there we are. The bullet train or the, what do they call it? Uh, Train. High speed, high speed train. So the high speed train from Kunming to Dali. There she is. Dali.